So my scientific uh, background is uh, mainly automatic control and uh, robotics with a main focus on uh, modeling, system identification and uh, designing control systems. Um, basically, I started my interest in, uh, in control and modeling of, uh, of buildings, of heating systems for those buildings, but uh, I jumped quite fast to, to something definitely more interesting, namely uh, raw materials and uh, raw materials sector, uh, processing of those raw materials. And uh, that became really fast, uh, very much in line with uh, the main goals of Eureka Pro Alliance, uh, where we want to create an environment to, to study, to research and to innovate in the field of um, responsible production and consumption. And what does it mean in the raw material sector? Basically, when we want to uh, generate or create uh, valuable materials, we want to extract them, we want to recover them with a higher rate, with a higher efficiency. We want to do that uh, with a higher, with a low energy consumption, with low uh, waste production, uh, with a lower uh, water consumption. And all those achievements actually can be done with uh, modeling, mm, control and specific measurements. And this is actually uh, right now the, the main area of my research where I try to implement uh, the, the, the technologies from Industry 4.0 uh, to, to raw material sectors, namely Internet of Things, cloud computing, edge computing, uh, some indirect measurements, uh, soft sensors and so on. Uh, but sometimes we hit the limit of, of, uh, of what we can do with automatic, uh, we hit the physical limits of machines. Sometimes new, novel, innovative machines are required and actually this is why we are today in, uh, in our laboratory of uh, electromagnetic milling. And uh, behind me there is a uh, one of our installations for dry milling in electromagnetic mill, uh, which is quite a novel mm, machine that, uh, on the contrary to, to standard mills, uh, doesn't have any moving parts. So it requires actually, because it's simple construction, it has simple construction, it requires less raw materials to construct it, it requires less materials to maintain it. Um, and it's quite efficient. It uses uh, ferromagnetic rods that are moving inside the electromagnetic field and they create a harsh environment to simply reduce the size of bigger stones to small ones. Um, of course, all that process is controlled with the uh, control system that is in, in this control cabinet and it ensures that we will do it in the most efficient way in terms of energy uh, and of course with constraints to, to the quality of the product. So, so basically, uh, this is one of the examples of how we can introduce responsible production in raw material sector, which is actually really important right now when the, um, when the need for raw materials is still increasing every day.